There may one day be a time when firefighters are using sound to put out flames instead of chemicals, uh, at least according to two researchers who incorporated DARPA research into their new project. Let's take a look. We're both graduating from the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department at George Mason University uh, this coming May. Uh, we're here, we're just going to test out our, our device that we use that uses sound frequencies to extinguish flames. I, I see this device being applied to a lot of things. First off, I think in the kitchen, it could be on top of a stove top. Um, but eventually, I'd like to see this applied to maybe swarm robotics where it'd be attached to a drone. And that would be applied to forest fires or even building fires where you wouldn't want to sacrifice uh, human life. Professor Brian Mark really stepped in to help us. He just gave us a lot of support. I think as a whole, engineering is, is really just finding solutions to, to comp, you know, finding simple solutions to complicated problems. So that was uh, Viet Tran and Seth Robertson, both at George Mason University in Virginia. Um, and this is a really interesting idea, oh, and yeah. it clearly works. Yeah. So they did some experiments with this uh, by placing flaming rubbing alcohol next to a large subwoofer, and was, they found it wasn't all about the base. Robertson explained that music isn't really good because it's so uneven. You want, you know, a good even sound. And they tried ultra high frequencies uh, such as twenty thousand or thirty thousand hertz. Crazy. It didn't work, so they had to take it down low. And at the range of thirty to sixty hertz, the fires begin to extinguish. <laughs> so there are a lot of applications for this. Clearly, oh yeah, like we could attach these to drones, as they said. Oh, my Put out goodness. forest so fires like that. They're going to be freaking sound grenades. And you just have speakers set up in forests or anywhere, like in people's homes, for example. Like, you don't have yeah. to call the firemen. You could put it, like, above things that would be harmed by water or yeah. chemicals, yeah, like uh, cool. recording devices, yeah. computers, servers. Yeah. We wouldn't uh, even have sprinkler systems anymore. It would just be sound systems. Yeah. I that's think it. that'd be great. It's be a crazy. lot more efficient. A fire yeah. alarm sound system. Yeah, yeah. That, that thing they had kind of reminded me of the dubstep gun from Saints Row. It I did. Must say, yeah. That's yeah. what we were thinking boom, the whole boom, boom. time, except yeah. instead of killing you by bouncing Imagine, you off yeah. the ground, it yeah. saved your life. Yeah, it's man. the opposite. Yeah. But this just kind of further like reinforces why I love music so much and sound and just audio things. I'm a musician, so mm -hmm. I have a fond appreciation for this type Fair of thing. But they actually found this for their class project when they were stum they stumbled across some old DARPA uh, research projects oh, nice. and they, they applied it this way and they did a great job. It has a lot of different uses. Uh, possibly for the future we'll have safer ways to put out fires, safer and more efficient ways perhaps. Yeah. Uh, what do you think audience of this sound based fire extinguisher? Let us know below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe for more.